my christian friends on saturday june sixth of this year members of first presbyterian church quickly organized and offered their pastoral care and christ like hospitality for the peaceful protesters who participated in the black lives matter march in downtown richmond i myself had the honor and privilege of marching with that great cloud of witnesses i was honored to join the rainbow of ethnicities and callings indeed African Americans and law enforcement officials marched side by side for social equality and systemic reform. As I wore my clerical collar for the march, I was readily identifiable as clergy, representing Jesus Christ and his church, representing God's love manifested in justice for all. While marching, two of the protesters made pointed comments that they were pleased surprisingly pleased that the church still promoted social righteousness for of late they had not seen much social redemption from the churches when confronted with the petition black lives matter many self-identified evangelical churches have responded of course all lives matter while this response is theologically true it clearly lacks pastoral sensitivity Imagine that your beloved spouse comes to you with an existential crisis and confides, I sometimes wonder whether my life really matters. If you reply, of course, all lives matter, your spouse, your response to your spouse, while true, effectively ignores your spouse's open confidence and even invalidates his or her soul-felt suffering. When the peaceful protesters declare black lives matter, we should not defensively hear only black lives matter. We should not offensively reply, of course, all lives matter, even white lives matter. When these peaceful protesters make their petition, we must speak without offending and we must listen without defending. As a white Christian in the United States, I can honestly say that I have never had a need to declare publicly white lives matter. I have never had to make such a declaration because its truth is taken for granted. The reason that the protesters must declare black lives matter is that its truth is pragmatically less obvious. The fact that I have never had to say white lives matter is an example of a social benefit under which I live and of which I am almost never aware, a social benefit colloquially called white privilege. I do not feel guilty for having benefited from white privilege, although I do feel sorry for those who have not shared in the same fortunes. But the protesters are calling for neither my guilt nor my sorrow. All that the protesters want is social equality and systemic reform. The protesters are calling for a social baptism, a baptism in which society dies to the exclusivity of white privilege and is born anew to the inclusivity of human privilege. I am allowing this time of social unrest to become for me a spiritual experience. It is becoming for me a mystical experience in that I am awakening to the divine presence of Christ in the impending social reforms. I am awakening to the new hope and the recreation of society. Indeed, my Christian friends, this time of social unrest is trying for us all, to say the least. But I pray that you too will peer through the unrest and discover an epiphany, a holy mystery. I pray that you might Behold the very presence of Christ at work in the world and in society. May we all behold the grace of Christ at work in the lives of all his creation, in the lives of all people whom God has created equal.